Ever since I upgraded to the paid version of Yahoo Mail, I've been on the cutting edge of technology. So that's why Sweetwater and Keith McMillan sent me a K Board Pro 4. This thing is amazing, all right? So I'm on the road for the month. I needed a MIDI controller just to kind of activate a lot of like the, the software instruments and stuff that I have to make some music. And uh, they were like, hey, why don't you check out a Keith McMillan keyboard? I've heard about these things. These are awesome because first of all, look at it. It looks super clean. Came with a, I, I got the one that came with a hard shell case. And it's more than meets the eye, okay? So regular keys, but then we have these sliders up top. And uh, how I want to demonstrate this first is uh, with just kind of like a, an atmospheric type synth, because instead of just playing a note and hearing whatever it is in your DAW, I'm using Logic, uh, you can actually have three axes, axi, don't know what the plural of axis is, figure that out later. But uh, instead of just pressing it, there's a couple different things you can do, right? So you can, you can actually change this to whatever you want because it comes with really cool software. But as you can see, it'll show what's happening on the screen, right? And these sliders can mean different things, okay? So first of all, the regular slider is just gonna be a regular kind of like mod wheel, like pitch shift. Go higher or lower, right? And then the second one has to choose the octave, right? Usually a full length keyboard is gonna be 88 keys. So this one is low. So you can really quickly just find like the right octave that you wanna do something in, right? Now where it gets really, really interesting is you can add vibrato to anything that you're doing, okay? So you can actually choose by like how long the vibrato goes, like how, how much pitch bend you have, but what you can do is like hit a key and then slide it back and forth, okay? So, and the way it, it's really, this is really awesome. So the way it's set right now is like, this is the speed at which it returns. So right now I have it on its most sensitive. <laughs> that you can do a lot of stuff with, right? So I wanna show you the reason that I like using the Arturia uh, CS80 with this, because it actually has like a visual slider that you can kind of see it moving around, right? So it actually has like real time feedback for stuff that you can do. And again, there's like a million, I'm just gonna go through a few presets and then I'm gonna use this to kind of make like just a piece of music with some guitars and stuff like that too. Because I really think that it just is such a cool thing, especially if you're making like ambient pads that you just want a little bit of movement in that you can control instead of just like having a, a, a filter or some kind of thing control all the movements for you, right? So we're just gonna go through a few presets real quick, then I'll do the, the whole thing at the end. But... <laughs> It's so cool, you, you can see how I'm moving it. Right? Or left. So just as a sound making device. <laughs> Dude, it is, it is so cool everything that you can do. Even, even like arpeggios, right? If you just have like a static arpeggio. It's one thing. But then to pitch shift it is just a, it's just a totally different ball game, right? So... You know, we can just go through just a bunch of weird sounds. <laughs> but I wanna actually do something a little prettier too, right? So again, I really like that CS80, even just as like a, just a generator for just different sound effects. In fact, we'll, just, we'll do one more. We'll find like a weird sound effect or something like that, right? Cause... So this is just like a, a wind generator thing. And even something as simple as that, there's a lot of utility in this because you can just hit a note. And again, the Z axis is like how hard you're pressing it to. And then you can bend that note back and forth, right? And again, you can specify any of the parameters that you want for this in the keyboard editor, which is actually pretty excellent. But I also wanna go to uh, one of my new favorite things that I've been using is another Arturia patch called Augmented Strings, just came out. I think this one might actually be free for a while, so maybe you guys should check that out. But like, it is, it is so beautiful, just like the different kind of pads. It, 
it's just, it's gorgeous, right? Now, for some things, I actually want to take the sensitivity down where it's just more of like the pad itself. In fact, let me just, uh, it, just to kind of backtrack a little bit, let's just go to something just real basic. Let's just go to like a, an electric piano that comes with Logic, just so you can kind of see uh, a lot of the just regular kind of stuff. Let's do, uh, which one should we do? Let's do the Wurlitzer, all right? So again, this is just no sensitivity. So again, just see, even this is like a, just regular MIDI controller works great. Uh, you'll notice that the keys are, really, really responsive and sensitive, but they don't uh, like depress like a regular keyboard will. It's, uh, this is kind of one really nice, feeling board here. So again, uh, what we could do is, remember this one is regular, just pitch, lower, back and forth like that, right? And then here we go, now we can add the sensitivity into it. See how it goes back and forth? That's, that's almost too sensitive, even when you like, It'll almost have like a totally detuned effect. Which again, is probably too much, right? So that's why it's really easy just to back it off. And then you kind of add like just a, a little bit of like extra vibrato to it, right? But again, that's just, uh, that's boring. Who wants to do that? We want to get to like the really, really cool, crazy, weird stuff. So I'm just gonna mess around with some strings real quick and then find something that I like. And then eventually we'll uh, we'll make some music out of it, right? What does this sound like? The dark drone. It's so cool. Love it. Uh, explore tomorrow. See, something like this, something just to have in the background, I think is like, perfect. And then you have a little motion back and forth to it. Kind of bending it just a little bit. Yeah, this is by, by far the most expressive MIDI instrument I have ever, ever played with. It really, it's just, it's, it's weird to even just call it like a MIDI keyboard because it does so many different things. So again, thank you to Sweetwater for sending this over uh, and sponsoring this video. I will put an affiliate link in the description if you guys are interested. I definitely think if you're in the market for just a MIDI controller that does really cool stuff to make soundscapes, you're not gonna do any better than this. This thing is awesome. And uh, it's really not as expensive as I thought it was gonna be too. So definitely check that out in the description. And uh, now let's just try to, let's try to make some music with it with uh, some of these ambient string type things. And if you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comment section. Otherwise I'm just gonna be jamming out.
Thank you.